Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this really interesting question. Why is zero factorial equal to one? And now I will show you a plain and simple proof for this. And here's the definition of x factorial as you can see over here. Let me give you a really simple example. Let's start off with 5 factorial. So 5 factorial could be written as 5 times 1 less of this one. That is going to be 4. 1 again, 1 less means 3, 2, 1. So this is called the 5 factorial. And likewise, 7 factorial is going to be 7 times 6 times 5 times 4, 3, 2, 1. Well, let me go ahead and manipulate this one. So 5 factorial could be written as, I can write this 5 right here, equal to 5 times this part over here could also be written as times 4 factorial, isn't it? Let me give you one more example. So 7 factorial, once again, we know that 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So this 7 factorial could be written as this 7, write it down over here, times this thing, the whole part, this second part, this could be written as 6 factorial, isn't it? So I can write 6 factorial. So just keep in your mind. So therefore, based on these calculations that we did, these observations, we can generalize this thing as x factorial equal to x times x minus 1 factorial. Now I want to isolate this part. So let me go ahead and divide both sides by x. So this x and x cancels out. So we got x minus 1 factorial equals to x factorial divided by x. So thus we got x minus 1 factorial equal to x factorial divided by x. Now let's go ahead and pick x equal to 1 and put it in this equation. So that is once we plug it in x equal to 1, that's going to become 1 minus 1 factorial equals to, this is going to be 1 factorial divided by 1. Here 1 minus 1 is going to give us 0 factorial equal to, we know 1 factorial is simply 1 divided by 1. So thus 0 factorial turns out to be simply 1. And that's the end of the proof. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.